Hi, I'm Joni Kisra with Get Hammered Metalsmith Studio. Today I got to go see the Clydesdales, so that inspired me to make a bracelet with a horse on it. So I got Potter USA's impression die with the horse. I have a six millimeter bezel cup and a six millimeter cabochon, sterling silver sheet, and eight gauge half round wire. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to anneal my sterling silver piece and I'm using an acetylene torch with a number one tip. Now I'm going to take it over to the pickle and clean it. I put a little piece of scotch tape to hold my silver down. Now I'm adding my first piece of lead. Always make sure to wear gloves when you're handling the lead. Now I'm adding a big chunk of lead that I've used several times, but you can keep reusing that. The press is going to push that right down into the impression die. And make sure everything is centered. I'm marking the very center of the two wires and that's where I'm going to put a bend in it. See here with my chain nose pliers, just a slight bend. Now I'm going to use my acetylene torch with a number one tip. I'm going to flux each end. I use handy flux. And I'm using hard solder. Put it nice and hot at each end and just feed that right on in there. Okay, just a little bit. You watched it gloss up there. Now I heat the other end up and just feed that right in there as well. Now I'm going to go put it in the pickle. First I'm going to cut all four corners off with my cutters.
Now I'm going to round both ends with my belt sander. This is a Harbor Freight belt sander. I really love it. I ended up buying another one because I wanted two in the studio. Cutting little pieces of the medium wire solder. I'm going to mark it where it's actually touching my bracelet right now. So right here, right here, and I'm going to turn this to see, and then right here. So I'm going to put solder on the back. I'm going to put solder at these three points and I'm not going to put solder on the bracelet just on the horse's head. I'm going to put a little bit of solder on the back of this, also medium solder. Again I'm using my acetylene torch. So I'm going to put solder on the horse first. This point. I want it very close to the edge, so I'm going to push that up a little bit. Sometimes the solder beads up and rolls off the uh, solder block there, so I try to put my pick behind it to prevent that from happening so I can pick it up easier. So I think that's pretty centered, so I'm going to go with that. See it just flattened out so now I know it's soldered down there and I want to put my uh, bezel cup right here so I'm just going to heat that a little bit. Alright it just flowed too. Now I'm going to go ahead and put it in the pickle and clean it up. Now I'm going to form it into the cup using Potter USA's bracelet bender. This is a bracelet bender I came up with when I was 21 years old and Potter USA makes them now and sells them. So you just tighten it up in there and then just bend it forward with your thumbs. Loosen it up and scoot it just a little bit more in there. And again, push it with your thumbs. Now I'm going to take it out and turn it around. Tighten it up again. And just bend it over with my thumbs. Really easy. Now I'm pouring silver black in a little cup and I'm going to just take my brush and paint it on there on the horse. And you can reuse the silver black over and over, just put it back into the container each time. It lasts for a long time. Now I'm going to rinse it in water and then I'm going to take my super fine buffing block and take off the excess oxidation. Now I 
just got my horse bracelet out of the tumbler. I use a Gyrock vibrating tumbler with stainless steel mixed media. And now I'm going to set the stone. So I do it a little bit different than most people. What I do is I take my chain nose pliers and I just go around that and I make sure it's coming out, you know, pretty far so the stone will fit in there. Then I get the dental floss, lay over that. Make sure the stone fits in there nicely. Well, that's perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out. And like I said, I do this a little different than most people. So I just take my chain nose pliers and I go, well, north and south. East and west. And then just keep going opposite. But this is such a small stone, when I've tried to use any other burnishers or anything, it's very difficult for me. So this side is still, and then I just hold that, and then I just bring it over all the way around. So it's burnishing it at the same time it's setting it. And this side of the pliers does not mar your metal at all because it's flat on there. See that? But everyone does it different. This is just the way I do it and it works for me. So try it out sometime. Here's my finished bracelet. I hope you enjoy today's video and thank you for watching.